In the fall of 2018, Professor Xu Chenyang, a professor of the Department of Mathematics of Peking University, suddenly resigned from Peking University and went to the United States. He went to the Ma Provincial Institute of Technology to teach, which caused a stir in the academic world at that time. It is reported that Xu Chenyang is a math genius and was once a professor of the Department of Mathematics of Peking University. He graduated from Princeton University and then gave up the invitation of many universities in the United States and returned to Peking University to teach. Six years later, Xu Chenyang chose to go back to the United States again. Many people don't understand why. Why is that? In this episode, let's take a closer look at the story of Xu Chenyang's growth. In May 1981, Xu Chenyang was born in Chongqing, China. His parents are intellectuals. As the only son in the family, his parents have high expectations of him and hope that he will become a good son in the future. At the age of three, his father began to teach Xu Chenyang to count. This may be the first mathematical enlightenment of Xu Chenyang. When counting, Xu Chenyang obviously counted more than the children of the same age and remembered more clearly. His father also discovered Xu Chenyang's talent in mathematics from then on. After going to elementary school, Xu Chenyang also fell in love with math class. He especially enjoyed the sense of accomplishment of each mathematical prompt. During the vacation, his father also specially enrolled Xu Chenyang in a math training class to continue to cultivate his interest in math. In the training class, Xu Chenyang learned a lot of math knowledge in advance. This made him a lot more boring in his usual classes because he could almost master what the teacher was talking about. But Xu Chenyang is not a traditional scholar. He is just good at math. Other subjects, such as Chinese and English, are very common. So Xu Chenyang has never skipped a class. In 1993, Xu Chenyang's father moved to Chengdu because of work. Xu Chenyang also entered Chengdu Shud Middle School and went to junior high school. In junior high school, he participated in many full-time math competitions. Almost every time he got a first prize and the score is much higher than other students. And in the school's daily midterm and final exams, Xu Chenyang scored full marks in every math exam. Xu Chenyang's talent amazed his teachers and classmates. In 1998, 17-year-old Xu Chenyang was selected into the Sichuan Provincial Mathematical Training Team. Here, Xu Chenyang finally met a lot of math geniuses who were equivalent to his own strength. He didn't slack off. During that time, in order to participate in the math competition, Xu Chenyang had to study for more than 10 hours a day. He was particularly hardworking. At 10 o'clock in the evening, he still climbed on the desk to study. This winter, Xu Chenyang represented the Sichuan Provincial Mathematical Team to participate in the national mathematical competition. In the end, he won the gold medal. In 1999, Xu Chenyang was selected into the National Mathematical Training Team, and so he received a scholarship from the Beijing University of Mathematics. Peking University has given Xu Chenyang a full freedom. Here, Xu Chenyang only needs to choose a subject he is interested in. Then he can graduate after he has obtained the required points in the university. In his later university life, Xu Chenyang lived a 3.1-line life. He rarely hung out with his classmates. During his college years, he did not fall in love. Instead, he devoted himself to studying. After all, everyone in Peking University is a genius. If you don't work hard, you may be left behind. After that, Xu Chenyang only took three years to acquire a degree. One year in advance, he obtained a master's degree in Peking University of Mathematics. Then he was sent to the Peking University of Mathematics for a master's degree. During the master's degree, 
Xu Chen Yang's tutor was Tian Gang, an academician of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. Under the guidance of Tian Gang, Xu Chen Yang played his own talent. After only two years, he obtained a master's degree in Peking University of Mathematics. Then, under the recommendation of his tutor, Tian Gang, Xu Chen Yang came to study at Princeton University. In 2008, Xu Chen Yang, who was only 27 years old, obtained a doctorate degree at Princeton University. After that, he came to the best university in mathematics development, Ma Shengli Palace, for postdoctoral research. In 2011, Xu Chen Yang, who had just finished his doctorate, was invited by many prestigious universities in the United States. In the end, he chose to go to Utah University as a teacher. After only a year in Utah University, Xu Chen Yang suddenly posted on social media, I have resigned from Utah University this week and will return to China full time. In fact, Xu Chen Yang's first return to China was entirely due to the invitation of his tutor, Tian Gang. At that time, Tian Gang built the Beijing International Mathematical Research Center in its development phase. He recruited many doctors from abroad, and Xu Chen Yang was Tian Gang's favorite student. This return to China will allow Beijing International Mathematical Research Center to develop rapidly. In the summer of 2012, Xu Chen Yang returned to Beijing University and successfully joined the Beijing International Mathematical Research Center. After returning to China, Xu Chen Yang did not buy a house or rent a house, but lived in the dormitory arranged by Peking University. In Peking University, Xu Chen Yang's life was very monotonous. He got up early every day and went to the office to continue his mathematics research after breakfast. The only photo in his office was the Grotendieck he admired. In Peking University's Department of Mathematics, Xu Chen Yang's academic progress was also very smooth. During this period, he solved a series of important integration problems in mathematics and geometry in many different fields, and was highly evaluated by international peers. He also successfully won the 2007 Future Science Prize in Mathematics and Computer Science. The prize money was as high as $1 million, nearly 7 million yuan. With this money, I believe that Xu Chen Yang's quality of life will improve greatly. However, he was still very low-key. He lived in the dormitory arranged by Peking University's Department of Mathematics. He only traveled by bicycle and spent most of his time working in the office. His only hobby was classical music. In Xu Chen Yang's view, art and mathematics can always be perfectly combined. Many people may think that Xu Chen Yang is lonely and monotonous, and he must be unhappy. But in Xu Chen Yang's view, he himself enjoyed everything that mathematics brought him. Mathematics is a kind of free art. When I was in mathematics, I was very free in my heart. No one could restrict me. There was no class distinction. I was completely in a kind of free spirit. It is obvious that Xu Chen Yang is very satisfied with this passage. In the six years at Peking University, Xu Chen Yang made long-term progress in Peking University. His academic achievements were comprehensive, and he became one of the best young mathematicians in the field of global algebra. In addition, he also provided a lot of help to the development of Peking University's mathematics. He trained many undergraduate students, master's students, and doctoral students. His students have also achieved breakthrough talents in the field of mathematics. Of course, as the reputation continued to increase, Xu Chen Yang had already become an indispensable talent. At this time, many universities around the world began to compete for the talent of the math world. Among them, many universities in the United States threw olive branches at Xu Chen Yang. After careful consideration, Xu Chen Yang's final choice was to go to the Ma Provincial Institute of Technology. 
This means that Xu Chenyang will leave Peking University, leave China, and return to the United States. The news of Xu Chenyang's departure was quickly blown up by media reports. In recent years, with the strength of China, many scientists have been returning to China. Suddenly, there were several scientists who returned to China and left. This made ordinary people unable to figure it out. For example, Yan Ning. As the top young scientist in the field of biology, Yan Ning returned to Tsinghua University for 10 years, but suddenly chose to go to the United States again. And their choice is a personal decision. No one can help them. Xu Chenyang also received interviews from multiple media before his departure. According to Xu Chenyang himself, China has achieved long-term development in the field of mathematics and has already taken the lead in the world. In recent years, young students in the field of mathematics have been returning to China. Those who have returned must have left. In his opinion, the talents in the field of mathematics should continue to flow so that science can continue to make progress. It can be seen that Xu Chenyang's decision is completely what he thinks. He can't think of a bigger feeling, and he can only do it at will. But he didn't think about his future, and said that his future was likely to return to China again. After all, his parents still live in Chongqing. Xu Chenyang's academic progress has made great strides. He and his colleagues have developed the generalization theory of K-stable Fano rough model space and used K-stability to realize a new path in the study of small-scale models. Most people probably don't understand these academic terms. In short, this achievement made Xu Chenyang receive the 2021 Coles Generalization Award. It is said that the Coles Generalization Award is the highest award in the field of generalization. It is awarded once every three years in order to commend the most important research achievements in the field of generalization in the past six years. Xu Chenyang is now 41 years old. For him, it is the Abel Prize in mathematics. With this burden off, Xu Chenyang hopes to live a more relaxed life in the future and strive for new breakthroughs. Xu Chenyang and Yan Nian's departure not only made the Chinese feel regretful, but also hoped that they could come back in the future. He also hopes that more American scientists can cherish their motherland, return to China as soon as possible, and contribute to the development of China.